Alright, so I think this is the route that we're going. I think we should go, uh... Get McCready. We need McCready to do this next mission, right? So we need to go back to the Red Rocket. Get McCready. <clears throat> is that his name, McCready? Why can't I remember his fucking name? Well, we're gonna get him, regardless. We're gonna get him. And then we're gonna do his uh, companion mission. Get that done. And then maybe we'll go back to the story, or maybe we'll check out the vault. Oh no, wait a minute, that's right, I screwed up, I wanted to do the vault first. Son of a bitch. I got a mind like a sieve. <laughs> I seriously, I've got a mind like a sieve. Fuck. Wow. I'm an idiot. I am a moron, I am a big dummy, and now we all wait for loading. Life. Oh no, live in love. I thought it was life and live in love. But where the manhandler? What the? The manhandler. Hmm, she'll handle your manaconda, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I wanted to go to the vault. That's what I wanted to do. I'm a dummy. So let's do this. Mark this. And I guess we'll do it from the Mike Pass Tunnel West and head northwest. Or should we do it from Overland? Let's do it from Overland Station, and we'll head southeast. There you go. There we go. <clears throat> Vault 81 and done. Look at this bobblehead. I haven't found this one yet. The Luck bobblehead? Yeah. I actually like... I have a bobblehead now. I got it from my uh, Loot Crate. Loot Crate for the month of November had a little bobblehead in it. And it wasn't one for a particular stat or anything. It's just a Vault Boy kind of like standing there posing. And uh, I like it. It's a cool bobblehead. It's a cool replica, especially for a fan of Fallout like me. I loved it. So I'm very pleased. Oh, here's Strong, by the way. Strong's still alive. Can you believe it? Thought he died a long time ago. Uh, excuse me. All right, we're headed this way to the vault. Do, do, do. What's this flag? What the hell? What is this? Huh? Relay tower. There was a protectron. It got fucked up. What does this do? <clears throat> Extend the satellites. Sure, why not? What this will do, huh? Boston City Works beacon signal found. Garbled radio beacons. Wow, I just got a hundred radio signals, huh? Nothing. Garbled? Nothing. Distress? What the hell? Oh shit! Uh... What's going on? A vertebrate's coming by. I don't know if that just helped or hurt or what. Whoa! I heard that scream. I heard a scream. I can't really hear it. It's weird. I can't barely hear it, so... Well, maybe I'll check those out later. Guess we're gonna head this way. Settler, hello. Oh, they're not trying to kill me for once. Vertebrid flying around. <clears throat> Whoa, what is this? Ugh. Some kind of a dam, right? Yeah, looks like it. Alrighty. The Forest Grove Marsh. Look at this. A totally new area. I've not been in here yet. Where's Kate? I'm not even gonna ask. 
Uh, what the? Oh my god! This thing's fast as fuck. Did you see that? It's real fast. Oh my god, there's a hundred dudes here. A hundred fucking ghouls. Get the hell out of there. Shit. Well, it's pretty cool that we found that town. We're gonna be in the town. Let me check that out later. I don't want to do that now. I want to get to the, uh, the vault. Alright, this way. Ah, stuck on the wall. Or stuck on the, uh, hill. Not even a wall. Do -do -do, do -do -do. What the hell? Now, wait a minute. I'm in the wrong spot. Wait a minute. Son of a bitch. I went the wrong fucking way. I'm doing the wrong mission. Shit. God damn it. I fucked up. I went the wrong way. I want to go this way. Shit. Alright, maybe it's not a total loss. <clears throat> I want me to kill the guys that are after uh, my my follower. I think his name's McCready. Right? Is it McCready? No, it might be something else. Something with an M. I haven't used him in a long time. Give me a break. Okay. Perhaps not a total loss. I actually don't think we're too far off the, the right direction here. Alright, I'll cross over right here. Sploosh. <laughs> I am stuck. Ow! Oh, whoa. Now this looks interesting. Look at that view. Vault 81. This is it. This, this cave. What do they got outside of the vault here? You know what? It's kind of similar to my vault. Vault 111. Remember I had this shit outside too? The vault tech setup stuff? Yeah, see? In fact, I'll sleep for an hour and get my fucking health back. How about that shit? That's right. Little shacks, yeah, little shanty shacks they had set up here. I wonder if you can turn this into a settlement once you clear it. It looks like you can, right? It looks like it's already set up as a settlement. And this leads into town, much like Vault 111. This leads into the other side of uh, Boston. Okay, cool. Let's check out Vault One or Vault. Oh, I'm an idiot. Vault 81. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Well, here we are. Vault 81. This is the only vault I know that people still call home. It's kind of weird that they want to stay out here all by themselves. So people actually live in this vault. They never came out of this vault. Weird. Uh oh. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Aha, Vault 111. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111. Haven't heard of that one yet. <laughs> and what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? <clears throat> Let's see. I want to kill all of you. 
completely loot your vault, you know. I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Earn it? What does she want me to do? That. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. Okay. If you help us, we help you. Let's try let's try this. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes! Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. It worked! And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Ah. Edwards, open the door and make the nice! I speech challenged them. Sweet. I speech challenged them into letting me in. Nice. Oh, I'm certainly glad I had a uh, had a high enough charisma to do that. We actually have an operating vault. Wow. Well, there was one in Fallout 3, so why wouldn't there be one uh, here? Oh wait, let me uh let me make sure there's no loot or anything that I missed. Stuck. Nothing here, right? Clipboard. Just a desk. Nothing else here? No. Okay. I guess there's nothing here. <clears throat> I wanted to double check. Sometimes they hide shit. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Guys have been working doubles for weeks now. Hmm. They need a break. I'll turn off my light. Everyone's Stop being a dick. Right now, Cal. Think I don't know that? What the hell? Just Another the outsider. That's all I'm asking. You in for. Miranda? What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before. We don't need it now. <laughs> the overseer never should have opened up the vault to your kind. Wow. What do you have against outsiders? All outsiders do is take advantage of you. They're nothing but Eh, pretty true. How do you know? Did something happen? Yeah, you could say that. Speech check. I met a girl from the outside. Said she was going to take me away from all this. I gave her all my money so ah. she could find us a place to live out there. You idiot. I don't hear from her in months. Till a passing trader mentioned she saw her with some man in Diamond City. You outsiders are wow. not liars. You got suckered. You're looking out for yourselves. You got fucking suckered. Yes, you did. Sorry about that. Oh! As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, overseas. Well, hey now. Vault what the? Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Why do you say self-righteous bitch? What the hell? She's a little on the chunky side, but she's got an okay face, right? I guess it's doable. Let's see. <laughs> All right. No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Now wait a minute. Yeah, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Here's my question before we even begin with this, right? Every vault, we already know, every vault was some kind of a fucked up social experiment, right? These people survived whatever the hell the social experiment was and made it through. Everyone else, the cryogenics failed, right? The freaking drug test failed. The one that was the genetic testing ever. failed. How did this vault survive? What was the test that they did to these people, I wonder? I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Hmm. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, 
I'm sure he's chosen his friends. Why wow, they, they are so else, trusting. In my office. They are way too fucking trusting. What a bunch of dummies. Well, we're now welcome to be in Vault 81, apparently. I guess we should walk around and check it out and see what's going on in here, right? It's like a whole new town. Who's this guy? Neil. <clears throat> Neil! Hey, an outsider with a vault suit. There's something you don't see every day. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. Neil! If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. You should check it out. It's got a lot to offer these days. Maybe someday. At the rate we're working these days, maybe sooner than later. Oh, what does he mean by that? Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. Hmm. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Don't try it. Cryer's terminal. What I heard terminal? The city is pretty nice, tucked behind some walls. Huh. Sounds safe enough. I don't see a terminal, so maybe you can't do it yet. Maybe it's a terminal further in. Hmm. All right, let's go for a look around. No signs of radiation. Press it. Hey, Asher. What are you doing up here? I heard we had a traitor in today. Oh, look, a cat. Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. There goes the cat. Huh. So you're <sighs> the reason the patrols are double today. I guess so. Security office. Hope you're not making any trouble. Officer Edwards, can we talk to him? Ahem. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Huh. Okay, that's it. I wonder if there's some good stuff. I'm, I'm almost feeling there'd be like a bobblehead or a magazine or something in here for me to find. So I'm going to you know, really look around closely, see what I can find in this vault. <clears throat> okay. Let's head inside. Give it a look-see. Whoa. And Kate teleports in front of me. <laughs> All right. It's in here, just storage. Hey, mister. Whoa. Mister. Hey, mister. Where are you going? Mister, hey, mister, mister. Hey, Austin. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to... How the hell did I know his name? Hey, Mr. Mister. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Oh, lots of people have tried to steal my shit. Don't wait up for me. Again? But I give him a nice meal of pepperoni and bullets. She's looking pretty bad in there. What? What are they talking about? You haven't needed my help in years. Whatever it is, it can wait. What? Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? Listen to this. You're gone more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging at me, Alexis. What the? Kate, stop photobombing the fucking cutscene here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on between these two. Hi. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. Why not? No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. Damn! I swear the cat is more help than he is. Wow, that's fucked up. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. No, oh, really, I want to know. Tell me. It's all right. Let's pry. You can tell me. Halt's just changed. He's never around, always claiming he has some errands to run. Back when we first met, he seemed devoted till the end. 
He actually taught me everything I know when it comes to fixing things. He'd spend every minute he could with me, and of course, Aaron after we had her. Now, it's like we don't exist, and every conversation we have is a fight. Hmm. Have you talked to him about it? I've tried, but he won't listen to me. He's always saying he doesn't have time. You'll get past this. Marriage can be hard work. He'll come around. I hope you're right. It'd be nice if he was even around long enough to discuss it these days. Enough about me. I should get back to work. But let me know if I can help you with anything. Does she barter? Oh, she's gonna say. Here we go. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Let's see what she has. She has a whopping 262 caps. She has like nothing. All right, hold on. Let me sell my stuff. Where's my pre-war money that I just found in the other vault? 145 caps. She'll give me six dollars or six caps for the skull. <laughs> oh, wow. These sell for a decent amount, huh? Gold bar. How much does that sell for? Ooh, not bad. I'm going to have to buy stuff from her. See what she has. Well, she has a lot of ammo. That's good. Hold on. Weapons. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Overseer's Guardian. How can I see this thing? Look at this thing. Oh my god. It's got the Ardor Piercing Automatic Receiver, Long Ported Barrel, Recoil Compensating Stock, Medium Quick Inject Mag, Short Night Vision Scope, and a Large Bayonet. It's, it's basically a souped up version of the combat rifle I've been using, I think. Wow. That looks quite good, and I fucking want it. I really want it. But I'm going to need another thousand caps. Alright, hold on a second. Gold bar. Silver bar. What about the copper bar? Oh, I can sell the Gilded Grasshopper now. Right? Copper bar. Copper bar. Copper bar. I could buy it! Nice! What else can I sell? This Bunsen burner I grabbed by accident. I don't even fucking want it. Crystal I don't want. Screws. Ten of the screw. Alright, hold on a second, because I'm curious. Oh, she also has this apparel. Hold on a second. So, Overseer's Guardian. I want to take a look. 55 damage. Fire rate of 90, right? Let's take a look and compare that to the one I've got. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's got a fire rate of 90. This is a fire rate of 33. Look at this. It's got more damage. It's got slightly less range, slightly less accuracy. It's better though, it's got better attachments for sure. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. So I have like no money. What else does she have? She has this overseer's shit. Reduces damage by standing and not moving by 15%. 10% reduction. That's really not very good. It's good d good defense, but it's not really very good anything else. Wow, I bought this insane rifle. Or it's like way better than the one I had. Yeah, hey, look. The Overseer Guardian. Oh, wait. Dude, it shoots an additional projectile. It double fires. Holy shit. Alright, well, I have no money, but hey, I just got an insanely good gun, for what I could see, right? Alright, what else could we do in here? Hopefully 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Who's hey, 81? Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Wow, you were gabbing. Not even for just a moment? A moment? Well, I suppose. Not like I actually want to get back to work. <laughs> okay. What do you do here? Me? I'm just the lucky sucker in charge of maintenance here. Sorry if you're the janitor with the overseer earlier. She and I don't always see eye to eye. Hmm. So there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Hmm. 
how much are you paying? I'd say 15 caps per tool. Overseer won't let me go higher, but I'll take as many as you can grab. Ah. Sure. You got your It's a collection a quest. Stupid. Find tools and sell One them to him. thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger, but mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way at least. Okay. It was just a side quest there to collect stuff. Dr. Forsythe is asking to see you. When you Dr. Forsythe? Who's that? What's this? It's like a storage room, right? Nothing in here? Nope. Okay. Dr. Forsythe. What's on the bottom level? Before I go see the Overseer, what's on the bottom level here? Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Hydroponics? Hydroponics. They're letting me steal shit if I want. Look. Dr. Penske. Excuse me. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. Well, I'll good for you. See how it holds up to exposure. Research terminal. So they're just studying uh, plants. Radiation exposure. So what they did, they're testing plants, right? They're growing different strains of plants and they're trying to see which ones can actually withstand radiation exposure. They're actually doing some pretty worthwhile research here. We'll secure the area. Oh, someone's getting a haircut. Look. I don't know what happened to the mannequin. It fell over. What's this? Hey, tattoo! Taboo tattoo! Permanently unlock a new facial tattoo. Tattoo! Ho oh ho! Now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, a couple months and you come back and see me. Oh, Horatio, yo, don't give me a haircut. Come on. Come on, girl, need a haircut. <laughs> Horatio. experience that kind of shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So, how about a trim? Nice haircut. You've been outside of the vault? Quincy, born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace. She was a doctor. Hmm. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. <laughs> but enough about me. How about that hair of yours? No. Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, gunners had taken her over. Hmm. Any good gossip flying around? They say Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting Ooh, together. we got the inside scoop Never now. About them. Your hair is a disaster. Y you have to let me fix it. My hair is fine. Get the fuck out of here. Not interested. Uh, another time, perhaps? My hair's fine. I'm wearing this fly hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess up my hair. Shut up. Alright, what do we got over here? Ice machine. Mark Somerset. Maria Somerset. Hey. Those ties are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you must try that telling that to Eric breaking a little girl's heart. It's always nice to see your face. It's always nice to see your arm fuse with the countertop, too. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road or just feeling hungry, you let me know. So she's a vendor? Quite is. Yeah. But it'll do in a pinch. She's a vendor. Let's see what you got. I wish I could say it was all homemade. Just food, right? Purified water. Yeah, nothing too important. You know what? Oh. They won't let me sell her anything but food. You see that? She doesn't want anything but food. You can't sell the food vendor a giant fucking rifle? Why not? Oh, here's Holt. I can't be bothered with it right now. Wow, he's a dick. Fuck you, Holt. Fuck you, bitch. Tell me that keep fucking time for me, bitch. Slap your face. Residential. Alright, let's check out the residential area. 